in a Polynesian culture, when we have visitors, you know, we go through a ceremony, and at the end of it, they are part of the family, and they have to work, and they have to do everything with everyone else, and take part in our ways. And so he's got no choice, really, but to allow himself to be affected by the island. You don't want to like him. There's an obsession with making characters likeable, which I really object to. You know, the best transformations and the best journeys in a film are when a character is unlikable, and you find out why, and then you end up loving them. And that's what happens in this film. Thomas Rongan comes in and he saves the team and turns them around, and in doing so, he gets saved himself. He needs American Samoa more than they need him. It's actually him that gets healed. Dear Lord, thank you for sending us Mr. Rongan. We've become quite attached to him. It's like finding a little lost white kid at the mall and telling him which way to go. I feel like Michael always finds something new. He's very chameleon-like in that way. I'm not surprised at all to see him kind of take on something that is different and a character that he hasn't played before, because I feel like that's what he always does. And then he just melts into them, and then you can't picture anybody else in there. <laughs>